Hi folks, I'm Zari Math and I'll be giving you a presentation on WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new thing in the market. It's very uh, attractive and everyone is searching on it. So I'm going to give you an introduction on WebAssembly and a small demo presentation. What is WebAssembly? A brief definition of WebAssembly. WebAssembly is actually a new type of code that can be run in modern web browsers and can provide new features and major gains in performance. Performance is basically the major goal. Along with that, we can compile all the low-level source languages like C and C++, whereas before we cannot use C and C++ for web development, but now we can. So we'll be using C and C++ for web development and I'll show you how to do that in my demo presentation. So what WebAssembly actually does is it changes the C and C++ code into binary language code. So binary is basically, I know, I, I think you guys are aware of what binary language is. So it's actually a machine language. So it will be changing one and zeros. It will be changing into one and zeros binary language. So let's uh, hats off to the designers, hats off to the researchers, actually W3Cs put up hands with all the basic major uh, browser vendors and came out with the idea of producing WebAssembly. WebAssembly is actually same as JavaScript and uh, Many questions arose when this, when people say that JavaScript it's, um, it does it replace JavaScript or something like that. But no, it's not gonna replace JavaScript. JavaScript's black holes, the ones which are left over, the one where JavaScript doesn't work, that will be overcome by WebAssembly. So yes, this slide explains that they, the WebAssembly and WebAssembly will be working together with the expressiveness and flexibility of JavaScript, performance and power of WebAssembly will be living on the new world. We'll be experiencing something new. So this is actually innovative and uh, we can have fun with the both worlds. So what were the major goals of creating WebAssembly? The major goals were that it should be fast, efficient, and portable. And yes, it is. So WebAssembly code can be executed at near native speed across different platforms by taking advantage of common hardware cap capabilities. As we have discussed that WebAssembly is actually a binary code. So it's very hard for us to read the binary language so will it be readable or debuggable if we are going to develop a whole website on web, uh, using WebAssembly how can we debug it and readable so yes it will be readable WebAssembly is actually a low-level assembly language but uh, along with the low-level assembly language you will be provided with a human readable form of file which can easily be translated and debugged and can be read so whenever we hit uh, internet, whenever we hit worldwide net, we always have a question mark against security. Will it be secure? Will this purpose, will this language will be secure? Would this hit everything that will be secure? Yes, WebAssembly is specified to be run in a safe sandbox executed environment like other web codes and will enforce the browsers with the same origins and permission principles. It will use all the protocols uh, defined by the internet. Also, it won't break the net. No, it is easy to play with every, it will play nicely with every other web technology out there. And the main benefit is that it is backward compatible. So it is very uh, very well and that's the major goal that it is in today also it is compatible on multiple different platforms you can use it on mobile or even with an iot device or you can use it with all those devices which have uh, very less space so a brief um, presentation of how does it works this is actually a demographic way of uh, telling you guys that how does it work, a, a flow, you can say. So we'll be taking a C and C++ code uh, with the extension .c and uh, we will be using a compiler which will change that code into a WESM file. Into a WESM file. So 
dot wsm will be created but as we have discussed it's a binary code file so that cannot easily be used into the browsers for that we have to change it into the language that is readable by the browsers for that we will be using a glue code glue code is where we uh, can easily um, have different type of languages come to a same platform that can easily embed and be used by the others so we will be changing a binary code into an HTML file also a little bit definition a little bit um, explanation of what JS did and what will WSM uh, will do so the JS usually works and executed in a VM uh, which is actually a fast dynamic language but it does not compete with uh, it does not compete with C and C++ languages but now if we use WSM it can easily come up to the performance and we can have the taste of both languages before the demo I'll give you a little bit of, a little bit different uh, a little bit information about the things we need before uh, proceeding towards the demo we need a browser that supports WebAssembly it should be up to date for now Chrome and Firefox is up to date uh, support WebAssembly but IE and Safari they are uh, you can say developing this thing uh, they are in the developer phase and also with the browser we need C conversion to a WebAssembly compiler that will be in scripting Along with that, we need a, a platform where we can write the code like Visual Studio or Notepad++. And to host that, we need a local host. Let's continue towards the demo. This is actually the folder, my folder, where I have... Um, no, this is actually the folder of mscripten. Within Inscription, I have created a file that is hello world and it's a C source file which will just display that hello world, I'm Zara Mad and welcome to the presentation, uh, WebAssembly presentation. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the C code using Inscription into a WSM file. For that, we need um, to do it through a command prompt, a uh, inscription command prompt. This is the inscription command prompt. Let's wait for it to come live before we add any kind of scripts. So if you guys are aware, uh, have ever worked on C and C++ using command prompt, we always compile it through GCC. But now we're here, we're going to use emcc space your file name. And of course, it's a C file. To change it into a WSM file, we have to trigger a few of the flags. So to hit, trigger flags, we add minus S and trigger the WSM flag, with, uh, giving it one. That will make it active. And for the output, also we need an output. Uh, even if you want to skip an output, you can easily uh, press enter on this command it will produce a WSM file but we need actually an output file in the form of HTML so I'm gonna be asking along with the WSM file I will be asking for an HTML file and I'm giving a name of the HTML file as a hello.html and when we hit next it will take a little while few seconds and produce all of my files that I want Okay, now as if it's it come back to the command prompt, uh, prompt uh, that means my files have been created. Go back into the folder and see that the files with the name you gave are actually now existing in your folder. This is actually the WSM file dot WASM extension. If I open it and show it to you, it's all in binary codes. You cannot see it. You can like you can see it, but you cannot read it. So basically. This is all that same code which I um, actually did in the C format. So now if uh, we want to check uh, whether it works fine 
on the browsers if we directly hit hello it wouldn't give us anything it will just give us a type error why because I told you that we need um, we need a local host so to run it through the local host we go back into inscription command prompt and write the command and run space your file name the HTML file name space and hit the port 8080 through port 8080 I want this to run and add a full stop in the end after a space hit enter and this will give you this will open up your browser and will display all your results hello world I'm Zara Imad welcome to WebAssembly demo presentation so this is actually a small presentation from my side uh, regarding WebAssembly and all other stuff let's go back to where we were okay so uh, to discuss a little bit about the difference between asm.js and dot wesm file asm.js is a file which usually you know guys that it is created in javascript it's also an assembly file but it contains bytecode bytecode is actually the one which runs into your virtual machines not in your physical machines whereas wesm is a, a binary code it's a machine language code it usually runs in every kind of machine also wesm is a subset of javascript wesm is actually a sub uh, is a subset of javascript so uh, you know with a high optimization instructions it works fine it uses all the ints and floats and all the types declaration types also uh, with the JS engines it works like Node.js it easily works on all the browsers it is fast it is usually used for uh, fast um, calculations and stuff like more graphic and more calculations can easily be done by JS like ASM.js it's basically used for that but binary code is, uh, like as in the WSM file is actually a binary code I told you it's a machine language code it can be used in any kind of machine but it is actually a format for JS along with the format it, it, it is actually a binary encoded that uh, that you can say uh, parse away all the calculations so uh, the basic benefits the basic two major benefits of uh, WebAssembly is that you can skip parsing why because you are glue coding you are bringing it up to a standard you're changing into a moderate language and changing it back into something else so uh, you don't need to parse all that along with that it's more faster and compact due to which you can easily use it uh, on any kind of devices it's uh, devices uh, independent so these are the references that I use I'll be sharing you uh, my uh, in the link below my slides will be shared you can easily have all the references and look into it if you're interested so this is all a small brief introduction and a demo from my side if you have any questions leave us in the comment below and uh, to reach out you can easily go into our sites or email me everything will be given in the description below thanks guys bye cheers